Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knott's Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right-handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knott's Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be making this Valentine Heart Beanie. Now I have made two of them, a smaller one for my daughter and then a larger one for myself. So you can of course do the mommy and me's if you like. Now the way that we're going to do this is we are going to start going back and forth with the ribbing. Okay. And then we're going to work up from the bottom going up with our white, switching to the red, white, red, and then white again. And then we'll sew up our hat all the way on the top. You can add a pom-pom if you like. If that's what you want to do, no problem. Go ahead and do that. Now the yarn that I am using for these hats today is a simple worsted four weight yarn. Uh, Karen one pound. This is in my opinion a thick dense four weight yarn. So the hook size that I'm going to use is a five and a half millimeter hook for our band and then we're going to switch to a six millimeter hook for the top. Now you can do this project in any yarn weight um, that you like that's not going to be a problem. Go ahead and start with your recommended hook size for your band and then you'll go up a hook size for the top and the body of your hat. Alright everybody go ahead and grab your materials, your yarn and your hooks and we will go ahead and get started. Okay, So we're going to start out by making the band. Now for this size I made this one for my daughter and I made it 17 inches long and this fits her head pretty good. I went 48 rows. Now the band that I'm going to make is going to be for an adult size and remember we're going to do it in multiples of six. So for a child size you're going to want about 17 inches wide, maybe 18 or a little bit smaller depending on the child's head that you're making it for. And for an adult, you're going to want to go maybe about 19 inches wide, maybe a little bit bigger for larger heads or a little bit smaller for smaller heads. So with my five and a half millimeter hook, I'm going to chain 10. And into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to single crochet and then I'm going to single crochet into every space every chain after that. So I'm going to have nine single crochets. Now if you're using a smaller hook and a smaller yarn, I mean feel free to customize the width of your band. So my band I'm making is going to be about two and a half inches wide. So if you're using a smaller hook and a smaller yarn, then you'll probably want to chain more unless you want a smaller band. All right. Once you get to the end, once you get to the end, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and now we're going to single crochet into the back loop only of every stitch down. And this is going to be your repeat row. So you're just going to grow this band in multiples of six until you get to the size that you desire. Right, so you're repeating that second row. Then you're going to repeat row two, which is just chaining one, turning your work, single crocheting into the back loop only. Continue doing that until you get the size that you want. Okay, I have completed my band. I made my band 19 inches wide and it will give a stretch to 20. I've made my band 19 inches wide and it'll give it a stretch 
to about 23 or 24. I've got a big head and I've got a lot of curly hair, so I go up a size. Now I made 60 rows. My daughter's was 48 and mine is 60, okay? So now to put these together, just as if we were gonna turn and work down this row, we are going to put the beginning of your band, fold them together, and then we're gonna work down the same way as if we were putting single crochets, only we're slip stitching. So do your chain one, find your first stitch and go through the back loop only, but then find the chain space on the other side and slip stitch. Next stitch, back loop only, chain space on the other side and slip stitch all the way down to join. Now this will be the inside of your work, but when you look on the outside, you're not gonna be able to see where your join is. All right, and my last one. Okay, so flip that inside out, and you can't even tell where the join is there, okay? All right, so get yourself into a good working position. And from here, now what we're gonna do is switch out from our five and a half millimeter hook, and we're gonna take our six millimeter hook. Now, if you're working a different yarn, you're just gonna go up a hook size. I mean, use your recommended hook size for your band, and then just go up a hook size for the, um, when you get to the body. So you're gonna chain one, and now what we're gonna do is put a single crochet into the side of every row. I'm gonna work over my tail, so I don't have to weave that in later. So into the side of the first row, now into the side of the second row, and you should have the same amount of single crochets as you have of the rows that you made. So with my daughters, I had 48 rows, 48 single crochets. This one I'm going to have 60 rows and 60 single crochets. Go ahead and work your single crochets all the way around and I will meet you back to get started on our pattern. Okay, when we get to our last single crochet, making sure that they're in multiples of six, we're just gonna slip stitch to our first single crochet to join. Okay, from here, what you're gonna do is chain one, single crochet into the first stitch. Now you're gonna skip two stitches, and into the third stitch, we're gonna put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two stitches into the third stitch. We're gonna put another single crochet. So this is your repeat. Single crochet, skip two, five double crochets. Skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets. And that's what you're gonna repeat around your band all the way until you get to the end here. After you have five double crochets, you should have two stitches left and then we'll slip stitch into our single crochet. So let me finish mine out and I will meet you right back so we can close it up and get started on the next round. All right, now that I've got two stitches left, my single crochet would be next. What I'm going to do here is switch my color to red. Now you can use red or pink or, you know, whatever color you want for your hearts. And I am going to, with my slip stitch, I'm gonna go in, grab my new color, and pull, oops. Grab 
grab my new color and pull that up. Okay, I'm going to drop my white and I'm going to chain three with my red. That's going to count as our first double crochet. Alright, so from here into that single crochet, we are going to put four more double crochets. So we'll have a total of five double crochets, including our chain three. Then we'll find the middle of this five double crochet fan, and we're going to single crochet right into the top of the middle one. That's our repeat. From here, five double crochets into your single crochet. Single crochet on top of the middle double crochet. So this is what you should look like. Go ahead and complete that all the way across and I will meet you back to join. Alright, so here we are at the end of our row. I'm going to put my last single crochet on top of the fan and now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my third chain. And pull that really tight. Okay, that's the end of your row. Now getting started on our next row what we're going to do is chain two. Now we're going to do a double crochet cluster, double crochet three together. So yarn over, go into that first stitch that we slip stitched into, partial double crochet into the next one, partial double crochet, and the last one should be right in the middle. Partial double crochet, yarn over, pull through all stitches, chain two, and into the middle stitch that we just worked our last partial into, we're going to put a single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to do another double crochet three together. So one, two, three, pull through all four loops, chain two and slip stitch into the last stitch worked. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch which is a single crochet and into the next stitch which is your first double crochet of your next heart and we're going to repeat this. Chain two, double crochet three together first one in the same stitch that was just slip stitched into, the next stitch, and your middle stitch. Chain two, single crochet back into that middle stitch, chain two, and double crochet three together again, right into the middle stitch, the next stitch, and the last stitch chain two, slip stitch into the last stitch worked. That's your repeat. So you're going to be creating these hearts, repeating that all the way around, and I will meet you right back here. Okay, here I go finishing up my last heart. And I am going to slip stitch into the next two stitches and right there is where I am going to cut my yarn. Now you can cut your yarn, you can carry your yarn up, you can do whatever it is that you would like to do um, to change your colors. In my daughter's I carried up the yarn and then this one I'm just going to cut it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is take our white and I am going to start with a standing double crochet in between any heart, okay? 
Now when I do my standing double crochet, I am starting into the same stitch from the white fans just underneath our, our single crochet and our slip stitches. So this is going to be a long double crochet. So we're going to pull it up to the height of our work and then complete our double crochet. And that's what you should look like. Okay. Now we're going to skip all the way over to the single crochet that's in the middle of the heart. And we're going to put five double crochets into the single crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. From there, we're going to do a double crochet just like we did over here into the top of the white fan. Working over the red stitches, go in, Pull the loop up to the height of your work and double crochet. That's your repeat. Moving over to your single crochet, putting five double crochets in there, and then we're separating our hearts with that long double crochet. Long double crochet, and that's it. That's what you're going to repeat all the way around until you get right back to your first stitch. All right, here I am with my last fan. I am going to slip stitch to the top of my standing double crochet. And now what we're going to do is create another row of fans, just like we did down here. So I'm going to chain three, and that's going to count as my first double crochet. And I'm going to put four more double crochets into my, my long double crochet. So we should have a total of five double crochets, counting your chain three. Now we're going to single crochet into the top of the middle double crochet of your fan and move over and put five more double crochets on top of the double crochet. And then we're going to single crochet right into the top of the middle. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and repeat that around until you get back to the beginning and I'll meet you right here. Okay, here I am at my last fan. So what I'm going to do is single crochet into the middle stitch. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my third chain to join those rounds. Pull that nice and tight. And next, it's going to be hard to work into this single crochet, so I'm going to slip stitch. One, two stitches to line myself up right onto the top of the middle double crochet. Chain one and single crochet. And now we're going to repeat the round we just did. So we've got a single crochet on top of the middle stitch, and then we'll put five single crochets, I'm sorry, we'll put five double crochets into our single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the middle stitch and then five double crochets on top of your single crochet. This will be the last round of white before we do another row of hearts. Go 
go ahead and work that around and I'll show you how we're going to get started on our next set of hearts. Alright, here I am at the end. I've done my last fan. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my single crochet. Get that really tight and I'm going to snip my white off. And now we're going to change back to red. We are going to work both of our red rows. And here we've done three fan rows, but when you finish out you're going to do four fan rows. So go ahead. So go ahead and rewind to the video. You'll start with your standing You'll start with your yarn into any single crochet. Chaining three and then putting the rest of your four double crochets into that stitch and you're going to repeat your hearts and your fans but you're finishing out with four rows of fans. Meet me back here and I'll teach you how we're going to close it up. Okay, so I have completed both of my rows of hearts and I finished out here with four rows of bands. So what I'm going to do now is take a tapestry needle And we're going to go in and out of every stitch all the way around, just weaving your needle in and out of every stitch. Once we get it all closed up, we're going to go back and forth several times. We'll go back and forth several times to help close up that gap. Sideways. Come on, Maddie, stop. So just keep going back and forth until you feel like yours is secure enough. Now if you are going to put a pom-pom on, now is the time to put your pom-pom on. I think that's going to be good for me. So when you're done, just go ahead and push it right down through to the bottom. And you can tie it off with several knots so that it does not come out. Then you'll snip your yarn, weave in your ends on the middle, and you've got your beautiful heart hat. All right, thank you everybody for watching Jolie Knots Crochet. Don't forget to join us in the Jolie Knots Crochet community on Facebook and show us the creations that you've made.